Hey guys, it's Mel. Just wanted to share a quick little tip idea. Um, I recently have been watching, I think it was Jen Jennifer McGuire videos, and um, there was a dainty bow dye. I don't even think that's what it's called, but it was a tiny one. Excuse, that's my daughter in the background. She hates getting her diaper changed down there with my mom. Um, but anyway, um, this cut right here, um, this it was actual dye, but I thought it was at Simon Says Stamp, and I think it was like six dollars. But the, I couldn't find one of the um, discount codes for the shipping. I thought I'm not doing that for it. the dyes like this tiny. So, but I really like the size of the bow because it would be perfect. Like I don't know if you guys can really gauge how small this is, but um, it'd be good for like on the bottom of say like a card. Like it's just a good, you know, just a good sizing. So anyway. Um, I thought, I want to see, I probably have one of these cuts, and I'm trying to tell myself to use my Cameo more, um, because I'm not really putting it to use enough, and I know I have, I, I think what it is, is I miss my Cricut, and I miss how, like, the computer, like, the brains is all in the Cricut, because you use the cartridges, but I do like, you know, there's certain points I like about the Cameo, but I always have to have my laptop up here, and I have a MacBook Air, and I don't know about you guys, but mine dies all the time. Like, you could charge it. Like, it's just, it never really held a good battery. I love it, but it just the battery life is not great. So, my laptop's either up here, downstairs, wherever, and I'm like, oh, and then I end up not wanting to really whip out my Cameo. So, where my Cricut, it was always there, and you just got your cartridges. So, that is one thing I do miss, although the Cameo has a lot of benefits, too. So anyway, I wanted to try to come up with a way to make this little bow myself. So I'm not sure the name of the file, but just search the bows there. They have so many. But what I liked about this one is that, because I don't know if you guys have seen the other bow dies and the ones that I have, had separate pieces. Like this piece would be separate, the little tab in the middle would be separate, and then, then the two sides, which were usually going this way, um, going across, um, were also separate. So this one cuts them out. So I resized them and thought I can make this myself and just kind of played around with the sizing. This is my first try. So I made them out and it looks like this, cut out like that. And then see, I just did a fill, I used the fill to page um, option which I've never used before. So I gotta learn all those icons because I'm telling you, I know with the Cameo, there's so many more things that I could be doing, but I just don't know how to do them. So I'm trying to like force teach myself. So yeah, so I just did that instead of buying the die and you know, paying money that for something I already have, I already had this cut and I just searched the Bose file, cut files that I had, found one that was, cause I didn't feel like dealing with, especially when it's this small, the little pieces. And it was so easy to assemble. You just fold those two over and then wrap that center piece around the middle. But what I would recommend is using um, a piece, I used like a double sided pattern paper, it has two pattern, like a different pattern on this side than it does on this side. I would recommend using a solid cardstock or one that you have both the same colors because I wanted like, although this is cute, I would prefer it to be like all one, like say that polka dot, I would like the tails to be polka dot. So it gives it a different look, but I'm going to try it in solid paper next, but I was just playing around, wanted to share the idea because again, I love when you guys do this because I'm like, hey, I could do that. So just wanted to share that and hope you guys are having a nice day. Sorry about the baby again. Bye.